isn't Oops. What's the plan? I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Oh, Dutch is thinking. <laughs> this can't be good. I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. It's all good. Calm down. Well, you certainly don't get any less strange. Morning, Arthur. What? what the hell was that? The kid's got no respect. It's you lacking respect, as far as I can see. All right, well, I should be getting on. Get on now. Calm down, we.
There he is. Hello, How are you? Stay hey there. Impressive. Hi, Taylor. Everything okay? Oh, yes. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Thanks, Tilly. All right, Arthur. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> what did you say to me? Well, I, I didn't do it. I heard that. I oh, heard what, you crazy fool? I heard everything you said. I was sleeping, you lunatic. Don't make me angry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? You'll start howling at some other man? Like... Like this one? <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. And boy, hmm? thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Ah, 
Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, hey, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. But my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. They're left here, towards roads. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Cause I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. If we handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Yeah. Mr. Marston. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving.
going on here? What's going on? I'm going aboard. Nothing Make that good. quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. make sure you get shot. Stop. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. What did I do to you? Don't help me. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I ain't got nothing. Want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? I don't want to get hurt. What's the problem? Money, valuables. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Okay. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Don't help me. I want to count to three. One, two. God damn it. Oh, sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You boys, let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Reach out. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? are you wasting our time, you huh? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't make me money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go! Don't help me! the gun down. I beg of you. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Get up! This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those? And this racket's in there. Hush, bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Come on, we should get out of here. There's some decent stuff. All right, we should probably be going now. We'll take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Man, there's a few more of them turning up. <laughs> In my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them.
got more of the bastards riding in! That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 